Hi everyone, this is Anjali with DMC and I want to talk to you about document management in SharePoint. This is something I talk to all my clients about and most of them are coming to me with thousands and thousands of documents stored on a file share and they've got dozens of folders usually within nested folder structures and a lot of times they are telling me I can't find the documents that I'm looking for and it's a mess. That happens everywhere. People have been doing this for decades. Um, everybody's really used to doing it and it's been a solution to try to organize your files for a long time. But with SharePoint, you now have another option. The option is called metadata. So metadata, columns, tagging, it's also all different words for the same thing. So let's take a car for example. So this car, if you wanted to look at the metadata for this car, you would say the color of this car is red. It has four doors and this one happens to be a Tesla. So the metadata is color red, four doors, manufacturer Tesla. Now if you on the other hand take a document, the metadata for a document, let's say it's a PO. Your PO would be the value of the PO, perhaps the status of the PO, who the PO is written to, maybe the date of the PO, items like that. That way you have information about your document before actually opening your document and finding out all the details. So let's say, for example, um, you have resumes. Your resumes are completely different metadata as well. So let's take a look at what this would look like in folders versus SharePoint with metadata. Okay, so here you can see that we have in SharePoint on Office 365 a folder structure. Um, we put six different categories in there, and we're using these um, example to show resumes that we have received for um, open job positions at DMC. So let's say we have somebody, um, we want to look at some resumes for the consulting services group. We would click on the folder, and then we would say, okay, I think I was looking for a project manager, and um, Obviously, we have three different candidates who submitted their resume. So this works. It's not too bad, but you don't actually know too much about the candidates who um, submitted their resume without actually opening up each of these documents and then kind of refreshing what you had thought when you received those resumes. On the other hand, we look at SharePoint with metadata. And you can actually see um, of all the information that's coming in, we added some additional information about what was the highest degree of education that they received. When we interviewed them, what was the rating that we gave them? How many years of experience do they have for this particular position? And which office location are they interested in joining? So if we wanted to just see the consulting services project managers, it's easy to collapse and expand and be able to see just the files that we are really interested in. We're also able to see, um, let's look at how many of them have only five years of experience or more. So let's only see those guys. And we can clearly see Cal Penn would be the winner here. Another thing that you might want to look at when you're looking at SharePoint um, with metadata versus folders is let's say you have a new resume and then you want to put it in. So I have a resume for the automation team. Um, they are looking to be an engineer. And now I actually have to choose, well, which office do they, did they, were they interested in? And perhaps they would be interested in both Chicago or New York. They were a candidate that was, um, a, had the ability to move. Uh, in this case, you'd have to make a decision, do I put them in both folders? Um, do I put them in one and not the other and just kind of make a note? Um, it's kind of a little bit hard to decide where to put them at this point. On the other hand, when you're using the metadata, you have the ability to say, I want to put this candidate in both Chicago and New York so I can select and don't have to choose one location. I can also filter now on this on this um, piece of metadata and say I need to find uh, somebody to fill in the New York office and who are my candidates that were interested in New York. I hope this tutorial was helpful in figuring out how metadata in SharePoint could be advantageous. If you do like to plan out your taxonomy with DMC, please do give us a call. We hope to hear from you soon.